Hey, what is up guys? My name is Cameron Gallagher and today I'm doing a tutorial about how to import footage into DaVinci Resolve. Now there's a couple different ways to do this, but one thing I'm actually going to show you too after is how to do a checksum import from your SD card directly to your hard drive and then import it. But first we're going to actually show you a standard way to import it. So right now we have a brand new project open, so this probably looks somewhat familiar. And there's two ways you can do this. There is coming over here to your media pool, which if it's not there, you can just click on media pool. And you can right click and then just click import. And then of course you can go and find it on your computer if you'd like. My favorite way to import is actually coming here to the media page and importing this way. And I'll show you why. So one of the greatest things that you can see all of your hard drives right here that you have. You also have your entire, of course, media pool down here. You have your jobs, which we're going to talk about in a minute. And then you also have things like metadata and your actual clip. Now, the cool thing about doing this this way is, for instance, let's say we're going to our hard drive. So I'm going to go to my Arica, which is my raid. I'm going to click on my corporate commercial. Let's go to a random one. Let's go to something fun. How about the Warren County Census? Why not? So I'm going to go here and I'm going to go to the footage. And then inside this, I can actually, of course, when I open it up, I'm going to see all of the clips. Now, the cool part is, is that they are not imported, but I can still see all of the metadata and I can scrub through and then import only what I want. So let's say I want this clip, like I watch it and I'm like, yeah, okay, I want that. And then I want this clip and that clip and I watch these and I'm like, yeah, I want those. I can then just drag those into the clips. And then I recommend clicking don't change. What this is asking is whether or not you want to change your project settings to these clips. Typically don't do that because you want to do that yourself. So click don't change. And then boom, now your four clips in, or in my case, five are in your actual uh, project bin. Now, again, you could technically do this from the edit page. You could always just go in, right click, import, and then go in. But again, the cool thing about the media page is that you can actually see and watch the clips before you import them. So if you have a bad clip, uh, something that was just faulty, like for instance, I'll get rid of these, uh, we'll remove them. Uh, this first clip here I know was a, a bad take. So in that case, I would just not import that. Where obviously if you were just dragging and dropping, you would have to. And again, if you're working with metadata, it's really nice to be able to see that before you actually bring it in. So I can see just all the cool stuff about this before I actually need to bring it in. So that's really awesome. But let's say, so again, these are from your hard drive and you can of course import those like that. Um, and then I recommend, not that we're going to do a video on this, but just go to your project settings and then change your project settings after. Um, so, okay, that's how you import into DaVinci Resolve. But I want to show you something very interesting. Let's say you want to do, uh, let's say you you come home and you have your, or you're to your office and you have your CF or SD cards or whatever media you're on, and you want to add them to your hard drive. So I'm going to show you something very, very cool. So you can see right here, it says no jobs in queue and you can see add job. So this is awesome. This is basically a checksum import. Now checksum is basically where it's a it's a type of import, I guess, or copy that basically confirms that bit for bit every piece of the footage has been copied correctly. So if you're just dragging and dropping in Finder, that's a really easy way to lose something. And the cool thing is, is that this is uh, DIT approved. Uh, a lot of DITs, which are people on set, the di digital imaging technician or however you want to call it. Um, they'll use this DaVinci Resolve to do this. So it's, you know, it's safe. So if you click add job, you can see that's going to ask you for the source and then the destination. So what we're going to do is right now I have my mix pre three connected. So I'm just going to drag and drop that mix pre three. So it knows, okay, I'm going to copy the entire mix pre three, you know, card in this case, an SD card. And where do I want to put it? Well, I'm going to put it in, I'm going to go to my drive YouTube and I'm going to uh, let's just put it in this phone sound, or actually put it in the mix pre three. Well, I'll put it in the phone sound effects one. So I'll just drag that folder there. Boom. Uh, you could do another destination too if you had like a duplicate discs. Now the cool thing is when you click clone, it is now going to clone those in a again a checksum process. So it is not only cloning those, so it's moving everything from your SD card to your hard drive, but it's also going to ensure that bit for bit everything was perfectly transferred. So that's kind of like the pre-import into importing a DaVinci Resolve. Boom, there you go, we're done. So this is a really, really handy feature, especially if you're someone who wants to import footage from their card to their drive and then from their drive right to here. So you could do this all right in DaVinci Resolve and never have to leave. 
So anyway, guys, hope this video is informative. If you want to see more DaVinci Resolve tutorials, be sure to leave a like down below and subscribe. I have a lot more coming. I want to do like a basic guide, kind of going through all of the basics and setting up project settings and all that kind of stuff. So anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll catch you guys later.